Hello everyone, my name is Zuzana and welcome to my Piano Promise channel dedicated to help you to play piano or improve your piano playing. Today I'm going to play for you and talk about Chopin's Prelude Op. 28 number no. 6 in B minor. I love this prelude, it's one of my favorite pieces of music and also I think it's one of the most beautiful preludes by Chopin. It's uh, one, uh, this Chopin's prelude and plus Opus 28 number no. 4 in E minor um, are the ones I really love and I already dedicated one session to the other one. I just see this connection because apparently Chopin asked to play both of them at his funeral um, and I'm sure that you will hear it as well because um, the expressive part of these pieces and the sadness and grief uh, and probably frustration in, in his life uh, that's all you can hear in these two pieces. The preludes are quite short, like Chopin's preludes are self-contained pieces and um, as his music is so poetic, it's called Poet of Piano, you can really hear it there. So I'm going to dedicate this session to this um, prelude um, number six. Um, and uh, firstly I will play it for you and then I'm going to play it once more but with giving you some insights and how you should approach this piece and um, um, so that'll be the second part and then we will talk a little bit about Chopin, a little bit about his life, a little bit about his compositions just it's always nice to know about the composers um, and how they lived and how they felt um, and then we can understand the music more so I'm going to play it now so I hope you enjoy it um, should be played lento so it should be played slowly um, I'm trying to be slow What a beautiful piece, what do you think, do you agree? So I would like to say every time I'm playing this piece I always think about heartbeat, about Chopin's heartbeat. Um, it's in the right hand, so at the quavers you play and I just think it always needs to be played so gently and evenly and every time I play this is my imagination and especially towards the end when we are talking about the last few bars and if you notice I played I'm really trying to slow down, especially here. Really, for me, it's the last, last heartbeat of Chopin. Apparently, Chopin was very scared of dying, and um, he asked his heart to be located and um, written back to uh, Poland. He was born in Poland, and uh, then later in his life, he went to Paris, and that's where he died, but that was his... Um, wish and um, apparently his sister then um, returned his heart to Poland. So um, I always hear it there and I always think about Chopin in this respect. So this is about how 
um, around to plate. Uh, what I'm always um, uh, asking my students um, is to make sure that when you play it, you think really about left hand for the reason that it's the melody line in left hand. Um, and also this is a great piece to learn how to actually make left hand stronger because we know uh, when you are starting learning and playing for some time, we mostly right hand is dominant because the melody is in right hand. But now we have to reverse and we have to think that making left hand uh, more dominant is important. So when you start, uh, we will start now giving, I'm going to give you some tips so hopefully you have your music ready. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so I'm always making sure the first note is soft and then I'm creating these like crescendo within two bars and then decrescendo. So that I'm thinking about phrasing. So this is the first phrase. Finishing nicely, softly. C sharp needs to be very soft. Then it's almost taking breath and we are going to the next phrase. Again, think about crescendo, opening the phrase, making stronger and then softer. And the new one strong and keep it strong and really when you play always think about listen to each of these notes and we are getting close to the end of the first phrase yeah then we'll take breath and we start the new one now when it comes to right hand make sure that they sound very evenly softly gently especially the second second note so first is ten tenuta lean on a note second soft and really focus on it all the time so it's one and two and three and, and this is through whole piece very important to keep a part of the few bars where we go to the section where the indication be expressive in both hands we are closing the phrase and back to focusing on left hand. So this is through whole piece. Now when we come to the middle part, so we need to start build tension. And back to piano and left hand being stronger really sing uh, left hand we we'll play with sostenuto so you can work on that and it's up to your feelings anyway and then it continues so it's always as I said focus on left and left hand um, as being the main melodic part so this is kind of a uh, broad insight to how to play this piece and now let's just talk a bit about the, about Chopin and his preludes. So Chopin wrote 24 preludes and he was mm, uh, inspired by Johann Sebastian Bach, by his uh, preludes and fugues. And as you know, Bach was writing all these preludes in all minor and ma uh, major keys. And this is what uh, Chopin did as well. So he did 24 of them in all major and minor keys and just the difference between them is that uh, Johann Sebastian Bach was, thing, uh, was writing preludes as an introductory piece to fugue while Chopin was creating these preludes as a self-contained uh, smaller pieces. Um, apparently when um, Chopin uh, uh, gave a performance he always played maximum four of them in one performance and um, also apparently Chopin didn't like performing so he only uh, gave 30 big performances in his life and mostly he if he was performing was for smaller audience for his students and for his friends um, Chopin died quite young he was 39 and uh, but he managed to compose a beautiful significant pieces of music as we know and um, he's so special I don't know anyone who doesn't like uh, Chopin to listen to or to play play Chopin